Hello there guys and welcome to your Linux tutorial. In this tutorial what we are going to talk about is parent and child processes. Okay, so basically every process in your operating system has to be instantiated, that means created, by some other process. The process which created the process is called the parent process and the created process is called the child process. So if we have some process which is already existing in our operating system and it creates, okay, so let's call this create, okay, let's call this operation create, it can create a new process, okay? Now this process right here is called the parent and this process right here is called the child, okay? Parent process and child process. And basically, you know, this is just uh, just a thing for you to understand sort of conceptually. It, it will be useful when dealing with, with certain processes or when interpreting certain kinds of output. Uh, and I do think that you should be aware of this fact also because uh, you should understand how processes actually get into the operating system in the first place. So you actually have some processes which already exist and then they create other processes, okay? And actually this create uh, thing right here, uh, there's actually some functions which you can call. So when you're writing programs, you can call a certain function which creates another process, okay? But for the purposes of this tutorial, you know, this isn't a software engineering tutorial. This isn't an operating systems tutorial. This is just a tutorial in Linux where you just need to understand these things conceptually. Okay, so I hope you kind of gain clarity on how processes are actually uh, created, how they are made. And I hope you understand the distinction between the parent and the child process, okay? So thank you for watching. Hope you subscribe. Hope you spread the word about these awesome tutorials. And uh, yeah, that's it. Talk to you soon.